what is up youtube today we're going to be learning react uh mainly learning react for me uh this will help with web development uh and possibly some things in 5m if we want to create them in react or figure out how to create them in react uh this would basically help us and figure that out so right now we're installing react uh basically okay well it install it installed but uh you will need node if you do not have node that will be in the description second off I am watching a video to learn off of. Uh, that video will be in the description. Make sure you leave them a like. Um, if you don't have Node, uh, you won't be able to create it right away. But if you do, uh, great. Then you could type in here npx space create space uh, create dash react dash app space dot. Uh, the dot is just your current folder that you're in. So mine is obviously in websites and then React Learning. And then it basically installs this. Uh, so I'm going to go through the first like seven minutes of what he said uh, sort of quickly. So npm start is starts up the development server, uh, basically, which is like a live server. Uh, and then run build is for production. You don't really have to worry about any of this other stuff as of right now, but we will get into here. So we have our public folder, which basically houses our index.html folder. Um, inside of here, you can see everything's just getting passed through uh, this route. So we'll, we'll show you right now, actually. We'll do, uh, we'll do npm start, which is basically going to build us a live server. So it's going to come down here, basically tell what it is, and then starting our development server. So we'll bring that over here. And look at that. Built just like that. Uh, very quickly, very quickly. Um, let me open up this as well. So basically he says that's pretty cool. Uh, and in SRC is what you're mainly going to be looking at. So we'll look at index.js first. Um, so we can see in here, we have a const root that is uh, creating a root of this for get element by root. And then it's rendering everything that's inside of app. So we're, we're importing app from app, which is right here. So we're importing all of this. Oh, uh, this, he didn't really explain it like this, but this is how I sort of understood it. So he's basically, you're putting an app from there uh, where this is getting your app header, div name, your logo, everything like that. Uh, where it says learn react, we do learn react today and save it. And then it says web pilot success and it's right here. Yeah, so yeah, that's really what that does. So another thing that you see is it's inside of uh, brackets or parentheses and it returns everything inside of here. So for right now, basically what he does is return null. So we're gonna return null. So obviously we're not returning anything. It's just gonna be completely white. Uh, and we're not gonna use CSS. So I gotta remember to right click and delete these other ways. My recording uh, shuts down like it has been for the past, I don't know how long, dude. So we could delete the test as well. And basically keep app and then inside of index, we're gonna delete everything right here. Uh, we won't have a CSS, uh, so we can keep everything else in here. Uh, we don't have a logo. So we're gonna grab that logo, delete it. Um, I don't even think this was here before. Uh, set up test, we don't need this. So we're gonna delete this. Okay, next thing he did, um, basically in React, what we ended up doing, we need a to-do list basically, right? So, let's make sure I'm doing this right. So yeah, so in here, we're returning our parentheses and we could add a space in here for better um, what's it called? Almost like, I don't know, you could, it's better spacing, better, better way of looking at it. Uh, so what we're going to do is to do list because that's what we want to create. That's what we want to create in this video. Uh, so as you can see, it already has these squigglies. Uh, if we save it, uh, we'll get two errors and we'll get an error like this in here. Uh, not a huge deal. Uh, it's just because we haven't created it. So we're going to copy this and we're going to create a new file called that and then JS. Um, inside of here, uh, I have an extension 
called uh dude, I forgot what it was called. Um it's a React extension. We could just go look at it real quick. So right here. So ES7 plus React Redux and stuff like that. Um I forgot what the command was though. Um, I could have go back in the video a little bit. Let's just go back in the video a little bit. Yeah, we'll go back in the video a little bit and just look at it. So that's the plugin installed. And what we end up typing is just RFC and then hit enter. And then it creates our function component right there. Oops. So now here we are, here we are inside of the app. What we can do here is import our to-do list. And then this is going to be from, and then the file name slash uh, to-do list, just like this. Oh, my bad dot slash because it's in the same, uh, same file basically. So now uh, we're returning to-do list. So in here, in these divs, we could basically just type Hello world, making sure I'm recording. Uh, and when I save this, it should, in theory, what's wrong with this? Index.js, let's see what is wrong, what is wrong. Just make sure, oh, index.css. Oh, do we still have that somewhere? Oh, that's because we didn't save it, that's why. Uh, we didn't save it, but now, as you see, it says, hello world. Okay. So, I'm trying not to make these videos too long. Probably going to be around 10 to 15 minutes, or 10 to 12 minutes, I would say. So, we're going to have a new to-do list in here. So, in here, we're going to have, oh, not in here, in here, we're going to have... Uh, input and then type equals text and then close it off. So if we save it, oh uh, yeah, okay, we already see we're getting an error and we can see in the React app we are also getting an error. Um, and that's because that is because we can't have HTML elements or JSX elements next to each other inside of the return because it can only return one thing and we're, we're returning two things so oh okay so what we're doing basically here is we're going to end up wrapping this inside of an empty element just like so uh uh which is called a fragment and we could just sort of do this and our fragment contains these two things, which is what we want to return. So in here, now we see we could have it. We have an input. Let's zoom in a little bit here. So now we're going to be adding a couple of buttons. So I'm just going to wait until he basically does this. Okay, so. It's just sort of like the same way. So it's going to be button um, add to do. So we're adding a button called to do. So it adds in. And then we're going to have a button. And this is going to be clear completed to do's. Just like so. So when we save it, successfully compiled. And we have it right there. And then after this, we're going to do this, which is just going to be a div and zero left to do. Just like so. And now we can reopen it and we'll shrink it down just so it all fits. Oops. Okay. Just make sure we have all this. Okay. I got it. So just like this. We have it looking like that. And that is all the HTML 
for our app component is going to be used. So all of the HTML for our to-dos is going to go in our to-do component here. But before we want to do that, we want to set up a state. So we got to manage the state. Gotcha. Okay. So what? So when that state changes, it re-renders it for us. So we could render it, but anytime we change it, edit it, it will re-render it. Okay. Understood that. So, okay. So this is interesting. So in React, um, basically we're grabbing everything from here though, but I want to also do it in here because he has to do it in here. So we're going to do an import of React. Uh, and it's going to be comma, uh, use state, Ooh, state, just like so. I'm going to add a spaces in here um, from React, just like so. See if we could save this, giving us a warning here. But um, is that because the comma? No way that's from the comma. So it's not from the comma. Um, okay, I think I know why. So we're gonna just copy this, basically put it in our index instead. Uh, 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 use state not defined. Okay, we're not gonna do that actually. So we'll keep that there and we will we put it in here and we could do a something else. So inside of app, basically what we're going to do is use state and we're going to pass our default state and it's going to be an empty array. Oh, okay. So that's why it's sort of fixed right there. We just didn't have anything in new state. So I, that's why I was giving us that. So inside of here, we could do const use state and we could destructure the array we could do this and the first elements is going to be our to do's and then our set to do's just like that and it's just object destructuring so it takes this gets the do's and then sets to do's basically the, basically what it's saying okay so this first one is basically every single to do inside of here. And then our set state is the function we call to update them. Okay. So basically what we're going to end up doing is passing in some default data. So we'll just do to do one and he has M here. Okay. So comma, so he's doing comma and then to do two, I'm most likely assuming. Yeah. So now we have two to do's by default, just like that. And we could actually pass them in here. So we're going to do something like this and then set it equal to. Okay. So we're going to set it equal to right here. Our, what do you, what is he doing? Okay. To do's just like so. And this is what basically called props here. And we basically pass the props to them. Okay. Just like so. And we could have this being a different name and to do list. And it would be exactly the same. So this doesn't actually have to be this uh, be the same. We could do to do list for an example, and it would be the same. Um, let's see, fourteen minutes in, fourteen thirty. Uh, I think. I mean, we're fourteen thirty on a ten minute video. That's crazy. But uh, I think that's going to be it for this first one. Uh, these ones might come out a little quicker than our five M framework videos. If you were watching those, if you did make it here, uh, leave a comment, say what's up. But other than that, thank you for watching, uh, and we'll get back.
to 5M probably pretty soon. Maybe take a week off and just sort of decide what we want to do. Uh, but there's going to be a lot happening in the base changes as well. But we'll see.